Welcome back, Pisces, to Pisces TV with Dr. MB. This is our daily vibe as we get into it. Welcome to the collective. If you are new to the channel, make sure you check out the description box. And for all of my returners, I appreciate your continued support that you show me and each other. There is a link to the Etsy store if you're interested in products and services or booking. There's also a link to our Patreon platform if you want to join us in the members section where the extended to this video will be located for all of my sharks. Thank you for all of your comments on the updated intro, which is exclusive for the Daily Vibe. I appreciate that. Um, here on YouTube, we have the store. Check out the winter wear. We have a member section for the extended as well. And we have the community board, which is most essential to stay updated with all of the new things that are coming about on Pisces TV. All of the contests so that you can win free readings, free merchandise, all of the coupon codes. I like to give, give, give. So that is a perk of subscribing. Hit the notification bell so that you don't miss anything. Because there are new posts made daily. And some of them may be removed daily, okay? Because I, I like to stay updated, okay? <laughs> now, as we get into the energy, I like to uh, start with an icebreaker. We'll do a Celtic spread. The details and pick a card will be in the extended, as you know. And we have the flame is the card that came out for you, Pisces. Now, at the bottom of the deck was the vow. Top of the deck was the mystic. I thought about the phoenix. So rising from the ashes... Is that what we're doing today, Pisces? I know Phoenix energy is also like a Pluto Scorpio um, kind of energy. So check where that may fall in your chart, how the planetary aligns. But I love, I love that Phoenix energy. Definitely love it. Um, rising from the ashes. That means there's a transformation. But, you know, it's that King of Wands coming out of that Ten of Wands. So it's not like a uncomfortable thing it may have been but once the phoenix transform from the ashes oh that's a lot of power so here we have it the flame okay the fire the spark the glimmer and as you can see like the different variations of the flame here we have four little flames so when i think of the four of wands i also think about you know the fire, the spark, the star on its platform, okay? A reward, rebuilding, okay? In San, what is it? Sanskrit, the word for fire is Agni. The ancient yogi saw this flame at the center of the um, abdomen and believed it to be responsible for our vitality. So that is the sacral chakra, or they could be talking about the solar plexus, you know, around that abdomen area, if we're talking about willpower. When it is lit, we are connected to our purpose and sense that life is a sacred gift. See, the star gift. It is said that those who cannot see the sacred around them have let their inner flame go out. Think of this card as a call to uh, reignite that fire, to cup your hands gently around those things you've forgotten and protect the flame. No matter how harshly the winds around you blow, it could be an inner archetype that begs you to light its wick. It is likely that the poet, the mystic, or the shaman would call to you with the language of the flame. And so here you have the mystic asking you to remember who you are. Or there's something about a vow or commitment. And look, guys, right here on top, there's a bird okay so when we talk about phoenix and then the mystic and the flame that is so cool so mental clarity good digestion and health all right so i'm thinking about those 10 pentacles or just be you know aware of that digestive system um the archetypal the archetypal fire is at the beginning of all transformations 
purifications and manifestations nearly every spiritual lineage honors the flame so look lineage i did briefly mention the ten of pentacles just now and honor okay to enliven the connection with this archetypal energy practice the candle gazing technique called what is that Trat trataka okay notice how lighting a single candle in any space brings magic to the room and creates a sense of reverence now i've seen candles be a deviation tool as well you know they say when spirit talks to you the flame kind of moves or fickles or whatever so some of you may want to do that if you're not seeing the signs going through a transformation um me being distracted by noise y'all hear that i'm just like gosh anyway um the flame the mystic the vow i was gonna say it's the housekeeper but i say stuff like that and people like so okay excuse me all right so <laughs> as we get started with your reading and i i don't know if it's evoke or invoke your inner flame maybe that is our that's our soul mission you know soulmates you know have agreements pre-life to do things for each other or whatnot and maybe that is our agreement that on this day december 9th all right um i'm supposed to spark your flame so let's get to sparking as we start with your daily vibe, Pisces, what is the current energy as these cards are? Shuffled. All right. Okay. I do see the shaman. I do see the crossroad coming out of confusion. So clarity is big. And we have the seven of pentacles. And with the seven of pentacles, remember I said I like that number for you, Pisces, with the seven of pentacles. And it's not the chariot, but the chariot seven, you know, I... All of the major arcanas, I kind of feel, share an energy of the minor arcanas um, with the numbers, okay? And with the seven of coins, it talks about investments, patience, reflection, you know, taking time to kind of go to the drawing board with something. I also feel, for me, that's my seeds, right? So it could talk about star seeds and the stars aligning, patience, hard work, perseverance, something paying off. Things are paying off. For some of you guys, there could be frustration if it's not paying off fast enough. It could also talk about maintenance, right? Growing for the future, waiting, come to contemplation, and cashing in on your stock market investments is for some of you, all right? Does not represent failure. I do like the Seven of Pentacles because it's, it's unfulfilled success. So you're still within the journey and maybe, like I said, haven't felt that accomplishment as of yet. But it foretells, you know, to overcome disappointments. You know, long waiting periods are not appropriate. Um, and it's kind of like something you have to get through, all right? Sometimes you may want to step back and look at things from a different perspective. And sometimes there's nothing more you could do. So we just have to take a step back, okay? So if you're trying to manifest, if you're working on something, if you're going through these transformations and transitions, know that sometimes all of the work is done and you just have to take a step back and kind of have patience. Now, as the daily vibes are general, let's just say it was about love. This could be about sadness for some of you within a relationship or someone you've been uh, pinning for. You know, you may be frustrated within that relationship's potential and could be wanting to give up because I saw the two of swords and the eight of cups. So it's like, what am I doing here? So you may be thinking too much, you know, on it. We'll talk about that later. But I do like it as far as your business because it's like cashing in. And those of you that may feel that you're spending too much time waiting, like if you haven't got started, right? As an action card, it's asking you whether a particular, you know, something um, will, will put into what you want as much as you want it. You know what I'm saying? Like, is this working for me? Is this job working for me? This idea working for me? You could have bought something, you know, um, taking courses online. And you're kind of like in the energy of, should I have done this? You know, maybe even reflecting on decisions, right? Some of you that this involves people, you wonder if you'll ever hear from them again, okay? Because it's like this waiting period. Or for some of you, you may have applied for something and there's like a waiting period. 
So we're going to talk about that. The current energy is like in waiting on, I feel, a return. Oh, Saturn return. Um, the return of the Phoenix. Okay. Crossing. The lovers will not let us rest. Bottom of the deck, we got the star and the four of wands. So the icebreaker always ignites this story to tell. The star is in its essence on this stage. Okay. Waiting on the Phoenix to return with the lovers here. You know, the lovers is the North Star. All right. And I ain't trying to toot y'all horns, but the baby Jesus, they say, was born under the North Star, right? The divine child to come. And it's coming up in your reading, Pisces, as my star seeds, as the stars align, okay, with this North Node. So here's this big bright star. And here are the other stars. Okay, with the with the seeds. So I really want to dig into what that means for you guys. It is so fun. Anytime I see the star, I get so excited. Anytime I see the lovers, it's Gemini energy. It's fate. It's choices. It's soulmate. For some of you guys that are you know contemplating careers, it's Reiki. You know, it's destiny. It could even be sense. Like who, how many of you guys are working on you know candles? Um, potions, lotions, and stuff like that, but it's caring, it's loving. Now, this is an answer for some of you guys that are waiting to hear back because the lovers does represent balance and communication, okay? But it could be discrimination, discriminatory. Like, that's what's taking so long because somebody's weighing their options too. But Mercury, you know, Mercury never uh, fails. And the the lovers represent that divine voice, Right, so communication, divinity, um, choices. It's always choices. One seems to pop up out of nowhere. Mm. And I don't know if this is the one you want or it is like in, in using your best judgment. Okay, but we got two figures here kind of rising from the past is what I see. You know, oh, we have three, but I saw two, so we're going to stick with two. Because maybe that third party situation, they're not coming back. I see these two kind of like through the veil, but this third one is like fully covered. So look at these two, look at these two, and maybe it's time. All right. So as we get into the extended, I love that Six of Cups does talk about romance. For those of you where this isn't love, it does talk about your path, your memories, romance, children, a lot of things, my stars. Okay, so let's get into it. Making a final decision for some of you. Sources involved. Oh, shit. Your lower half, your, your Capricorn, your shadow is involved. 3D, 5D. Oh, my gosh. Transformations, timeline shifts. That could be what we're discussing. Do y'all see that? That is so beautiful. So it's kind of like the two shoulders, right? One over your shoulder, one over your shoulder. Two choices. What are we going to do about it? I don't know. We'll see in the extended. If you join us on the other side, we'll be waiting for you. Until next time, guys. Namaste.